Welcome back to Ami Broker AFL based algo trading series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we will build a simple moving average candle crossover strategy. Note, this is not a moving average crossover strategy, but a moving average candle cross strategy. So, we will just be using one moving average here. Before we head into the session, I have a request for you. You can check out our website www.marketsecrets.in for various data feeds for trading and also for various free e-learnings. So check it out when you have time. Also, I request you to like, comment and share this video with your friends because that is what motivates us to do more and more for you. So your comment is extremely important for us so if you really like the video or even if you don't like the video please do leave a feedback in the comment section so that we can address and answer it and with that note let's head into this session this strategy is very simple we will go long if a green candle is formed in the chart by closing above the moving average and the previous candle had closed below the moving average and the reverse is true for shorting we will go short if a red candle is formed in the chart by closing below the moving average and the previous candle had closed above the moving average so in simple terms we will buy if the candle crosses and moves above the moving average and we will sell if the candle crosses and moves below the moving average as simple as that so let's jump into the script directly in the first part of the script we are just plotting the price candles and in the next set of lines we are setting up the moving average and then we are plotting the moving average in the chart and in the next set of codes we will be generating the open high low and closing price of the previous candles this is to ensure that the candle is crossing over above the moving average so the first candle should be on or below the moving average and the next candle should be above the moving average so this is what we mean by moving average candle crossover a candle should cross over the moving average and now comes the buy and sell signal or sell trigger so we will go long if a green candle is formed in the chart by closing above the moving average and the previous candle had closed below the moving average to do this we are checking for five conditions here number 1 closing price of the previous candle should be below the moving average and closing price of the current candle should be above the moving average the opening price of the current candle should be above the moving average and opening price of the current candle should be below the closing price of the current candle and lastly high of the previous candle should be less than the high of the current candle so if all these five conditions are met it indicates the candle crossover had happened in that case we will go long or we will buy and the reverse is true for shorting if a red candle is formed in the chart by closing below the moving average and the previous candle had closed above the moving average and in order to validate this or in order to script this we are checking again for five different conditions number 1 close price of the previous candle should be above the moving average and close price of the current candle should be below the moving average and open price of the current candle should be below the moving average and open price of the current candle should be above the close price of the current candle and lastly low of the previous candle should be above the low of the current candle and if all these five conditions are met then we will short and lastly we will be plotting the buy and sell signals in the chart now let's move to back testing so i'm going to tools and i'm sending it to analysis window and i'm going back to the back test so if we run the back test for this strategy you'll be able to see the results if you see here this particular strategy had generated around 45 percentage returns with a drawdown of 23 percentage so this is how you need to code a simple candle crossover strategy if you want to you know run the back test on multiple time frames you can you know change the time frame and run it on a different time frame as well
So give it a try and let me know how it goes. If you have any queries or comments about this particular episode, please leave it down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer it. Once again, hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.